All right, Lucas. Hey. If you had to name your favorite thing about Activado, what would it be? What? Activado, Lucas. Come on, keep up. <laughs> uh, how much it does. Yeah. For the world. Yeah. Uh, I do not know. I'm Korean. I play League of Legends. <laughs> <laughs> League of Legends is very good. Dude, Tanner's been playing so much League of Legends lately. He did play the other day when I was not online. Yeah. Whoa. <clears throat> He's been going on at length about how good Jinx is in the current meta. That's me. Yeah. Number one Jinx player in South Korea. That's right. Tanner Nikolai. Tanner Nikolai. I'm, I fly out there every nine months to make sure I maintain my South Korean citizenship. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't need to crit. It had one HP. Yeah, it was important to style on him though, Lucas. <laughs> yeah, to show your dominance. For example, check out this. What, what, what if I had? What if I had South Korean citizenship this whole time? I didn't know. I suppose uh, it wouldn't if you, really matter. Uh, I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, it wouldn't matter too much. However, it would uh, lend more credibility to the idea that you're a spy. <laughs> more credibility. Yeah, more. As if we needed more. I'd say that things are already looking pretty good in that department, though. Just saying. Nice. All right, there we go. All right, so Lucas, things were uh, things were looking not so good for quite a while there, but uh, they really were. <laughs> uh, Is there more dogs somewhere? No. Uh, I think there's still a giant beast up ahead that we didn't kill. The one, oh, the that, one that didn't attack you. Yeah. You took damage from something. Uh, yeah, she poisoned. Oh. Yeah, just a little casual poison, bro. Ain't no fun. No, sir. Oh. <laughs> My beastly blood. Rapples. Ooh. That's what I like to hear, my man. He can move so many units. Yeah. Raphael's a good boy, man. Can can characters is the maximum amount of units they can move in a straight line? Well, obviously, it would. What? Be. That's why. That's why their movement patterns are all sh shaped. Uh, they're currently all shaped really strangely due to all the woods and such. They move. They can't move as far if they're moving through obstacles and all. The but things. like in an open space, your your unit's movement would be like a diamond, right? Yes. Yeah. That's correct. It's like it's like D and D movement. Yeah. The good old uh, Dunkin' Donuts. That's right. Dunkin'. Have you guys been to Dunkin' Donuts? Once. Huh. I think no. What do you go there for? Uh, you can uh, go in there. They they have a big cup of coffee that everyone uses to dunk their donuts in. So <laughs> Ooh. It's the community cup. Here we go. We got the Ewok language, guys. No, we don't, Tanner. The Ewok language. No, we don't. Uh, I'm not Ewok. <laughs> don't laugh at that. It was pretty funny. <laughs> I, you, you reminded me of a picture I had in my phone because we were talking about Mario and it was just a really sad Wario drawing. <laughs> He's so sad. So <laughs> sad. He's got a nice chin though. Really <laughs> got a big, big masculine chin. Oh. So what's been what's been going on with you guys' lives? So what's been going on with our lives? Uh. uh what? Any immediate family we... death? Maybe. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Did we? Were. Yeah, me neither. When was the last time we recorded with you, Lucas? Was it before quarantine hit? Hmm. I mean, we recorded with him a few episodes during quarantine. Yeah, but like remotely. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Those were the days. Yeah, I just I was wondering how life has changed for y'all. I mean, not an awful lot has happened. Yeah, with me. honestly, I've just kind of been doing the whole school thing. Yeah, I already did mostly online classes, and my work never shut down at all. So my life's pretty much identical. Being honest, 
There we go, okay. He was like impervious to magic for way too long there. But what now he's impervious him? to magic. Uh, great question. <laughs> I could not tell you, but now we're fine. Lucas, how's, is that? how's life been going for you, though? Uh, I mean, starting school. Yeah? It started out with a kiss, but how did it end up like this? How did it end up like this, I wonder? <laughs> it's been a disaster, like I said <laughs> before the recording. <laughs> oh, I got promoted at work. Ooh. To, to be the aquatic specialist. There you go. Whack. And I have started collecting Pokemon cards. Ooh. Nice. How's that been going? It's, it's, you know. Yeah. So, would you say that at this point you are a Pokemon expert? No. If someone were to compile a list of... I have never once played through a Pokemon game. The only thing Pokemon that I've really done is watch the original show. Okay. I just like the uh, the the gambling. Gotcha. <laughs> but if you were to be shown like a large list of Pokemon in front of you... Absolutely could not name most of them. <laughs> okay. But would you be able to determine if they were actually real Pokemon or not? Absolutely oh, not. This, this okay. is what you're asking. This is what I'm asking. This is, hinting at, this is hinting at the future of what you will be doing, Lucas. We're not, we can't do that a second time. Unless you make a new list. Oh, it, it, it's a very new list, Tanner. Wait, don't it's the worry. same thing again? No, it's not the same thing. What's happening? I don't know. You'll find out. Okay. I, I know slightly more than you, but I'm still not sure. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be a gay old time, Lucas, don't you worry. Yeah, I bet it will be gay if you're there. Very funny. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, here's something I came up with at work. Uh, Uncle Don's Udon Noodles. Uh, this is what Donald Trump is gonna do after he's done being president. He's gonna Oh see that's gonna start his about. He's gonna start his own Udon noodle business. What do you guys what do you guys think are the odds of Well hold on, I wanna talk about Uncle Don's Udon noodles. <laughs> I really don't though. <laughs> the finest Udon the, the, the Go on, Tanner. Udon noodles so good, even the finest Chinaman will have them. Mm. Get it? It's it's a, that's a good joke because it's a play on fine China, and it's also racist. <laughs> and also, I don't think that udon noodles come from China anyway. No. So it's it's it works three different ways, guys. <laughs> Magic blade from wandering. I didn't even invent that joke with with Donald Trump in mind originally. I just thought it'd be funny if there was something called Uncle Don's Udon noodles, and I was like, "But who is Uncle Don?" And my jump, my my brain jumped to, "Oh, Donald Trump, of course." Oh, Don DiMaggio. That's crazy. Donald Trump loves Udon noodles. That's a fact. He loves Udon noodles That's... so much as he uh, as much as he that loves Goya. Why, that is why he has contracted COVID nineteen. <laughs> yeah, he ate too much of Udon noodles. Yeah, and too many bat wings too. Yeah. <laughs> bat wings on a stick. Bat 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 wings deep fried like tortilla chips. This is just that Forrest Gump bit. I yeah, I've never Forrest seen Forrest Gump, Gump, so I wouldn't. What? That's okay, Tanner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you can Got see the right there game. on the screen. The have, you, have you ever seen it, Nico? Yeah, I've seen Forrest Gump a couple times. Okay. Yeah. Everyone has to have seen it a couple times. Exactly. At least a couple of times. Except me, I'm a, I'm, I'm special. <laughs> I, I don't have to do it. For whatever it. reason, as I heard that S sound, I thought you were gonna say you're a simp. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I am a simp for Tong Hanks. Tong Hank. Tong yeah. Tong Anyways. Yeah, Tom DiMaggio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What were you going to say about Donald Trump? <laughs> oh, how long do you think he's going to live with the COVID? I think he's going to actually die from it. I think Just for really? no reason other than for no reason other than the comedic value. <laughs> uh, because uh, he went on words saying at most of his rallies and stuff like, I don't wear a mask. I don't wear a mask. I don't, mask I don't pretty think. cash money, I'll tell you what. I well, you, you know, what... I don't. I don't think he'll die. But if he does, uh, all that will mean is that the United States will elect the first dead person to be president. <laughs> and I'm not talking about Donald Trump. Boom! Hey! Whoa! Hey! hey whoa! Is, Joe Biden's old. That's what we're ending the episode on. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. That's uh, we're at nine and a half minutes. No, not ten. But we're no. We're are not. we still going? <laughs> yeah, we're going. I think, yeah, that was terrible. <laughs> That's that video funny. <laughs> I, I think that ruined the joke, honestly. No, it didn't. Freaking destroyed it. 
I was really expecting Biden to also have it, honestly. Yeah, he will have it, Tanner. Don't you worry. <laughs> someday. Yeah, someday. Not if he keeps wearing the biggest masks I've ever seen. Did you guys watch the debates? Yes. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, oh, there, there were some choice moments in there. I was laughing at that. I was... I don't... There was, uh, there was other stuff in there that I was like, that's really funny. Oh, like, when they were talking about whether they were going to open up or shut down again, and, and Donald Trump just went, let me shut you down for a moment, Joe, and then he starts talking. That was funny. So I've never seen a presidential debate before, okay. and so I just kind of assume this is how they're, they always were, and so I was having a pretty good time throughout, but then afterwards I saw the reactions and everyone was like, this is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. I can't believe they made a mockery of the presidential debates. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I don't know, I had fun. I mean, I had a good time. That and also the people were reacting with like, man, the moderator needs to take control and, and get him to respect the rules of shop and whatever. And the whole time I was watching it, I was like, man, I wish this moderator would shut the hell up so they can just talk like idiots. But yeah. That's what I want to see. I don't... Well, I I want to see them go at it. Maybe From it's what cause... I understand, the second presidential debate is just a cage fight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, well, yeah. 2020 presidential debate. Oh, my God, it's Bernie Sanders coming in the ring with a steel chair. <laughs> I think I think it was immediately after <laughs> the debate, Ben Shapiro tweeted out, okay, I'm now in favor of <laughs> yeah, <laughs> duel to the death or something like that. Oh, that's life silly, ben. is good right now, is it not? Oh, it's quite good, it's I tell time. you what. It's quite good. Fun time. All right, Tanner. <sighs> what, uh, Tanner, I mean, let's, Tanner talk, let's Tanner. talk about what? Tanner, I have a question for you. What? What's the question? All right, so. Shall we? I want to talk about the debate some more, though. So don't don't, wor don't be, worry, Tanner. Is this a topic change? No, it's not. It, okay. It's a hypothetical question for gotcha. you, Tanner, that I'm gotcha. proposing right now at this moment. Tanner, so you're playing uh, your favorite fighting game of all time, Mortal Kombat. The newest Mortal Kombat has come out. Mm -hmm. you're, you're playing through the story mode of Sub-Zero. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your favorite... Uh, Mortal Kombat character, mm -hmm. and uh, as you perform the final fatality against Shao Kong, Shao Kong looks into Sub Zero's eyes and is like, "Who are you? Who are you, Sub Zero?" And uh, Sub Zero reveal takes off his mask to reveal that he was Ben Shapiro all along. Okay, <laughs> he was Ben Sub Zero Tanner. <laughs> I, 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 that, was, that was awful. That was that was actually the worst. <laughs> I could, that, I couldn't dislike that more if I wanted to. Very go on about the presidential debate. Pretty terrible. I hate Let's say hypothetically that I did get over here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now. Okay. Let's say. Let's say. Let's say hypothetically I did get over here. What would you do then? <laughs> now that I'm over there, what would you do? I don't think you know what you would do. Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe you give me an uppercut. Okay. Let's say. Let's say. Let's say. Let's say you got me over there, and then you uppercut me. What then? What then? <laughs> um. All I was gonna say is uh, this white supremacy thing where he didn't denounce white supremacy. Um, Joe Biden really fucked that up by bringing up the Proud Boys because the Proud Boys aren't white supremacists, which which is probably why he didn't You'll announce have to them. Fill me in on who the Proud Boys are. Uh, they're, uh, they're just a couple guys oh. who are uh, they're really into LGBT stuff. That's why they're proud. Okay. So okay, I don't I don't totally understand. From my understanding, is it started out as a joke on like a podcast or a radio show, I think. Where a guy was like, we should have a bunch of guys that, like, basically counter Antifa, and, and they'll be based on me, and, and the guy who's talking, he's, like, kind of an effeminate guy, and so he, and he's like, it'd be funny if we called ourselves the Proud Boys. It was literally started as a joke, and then it just morphed into, yeah, they're, like, actually kind of organized, and the whole point of them is that they just... They're just a violent white ring, right wing group to counter violent left wing groups. And the like, and yeah, they're not they're not white supremacists, and y you know that because their founder and their current leader are both Afro Cuban men. Yeah. For now, so, Tanner. For, for now, now. For now. We'll see how things. We'll see. Grow. And also, like ten, something like ten to twenty percent of their membership is non-white too. So like. It, it just doesn't make any sense. 
They're self-hating, Tanner. That's God, the, yeah. That's they're what's self-hating. Going on there. Okay. I, I'm like legitimately so insulted by the self-hating thing. Like obviously I'm not insulted because because it doesn't apply to me. Yeah. I don't hate myself. Yeah. <laughs> not that much. Well, anyway. it, it just seems so so disrespectful and like uh, well pa patronizing. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Like you have to have the specific view if you're like that. Yeah. You're 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 brown. You you gotta be left. Yeah, Lucas. Yeah, Lucas. Luke. Why do you say yeah, Lucas? <laughs> I think you're much browner than Lucas, aren't you? Yes. But in the next episode, we're going to be exploring that even more. We're going to be comparing skin tones and everything. <laughs> Bye-bye. We're going to be measuring our skulls. 